deaf eye by any means, but they're actually virtually blind, um, but they rely on other senses, like their sense of smell, which is highly acute, and their sense of touch. The, the animal has probably adapted this very smooth body so that it can move around very easily when it's inside of a dead whale or a dolphin. carefully and see if we can see the little fortifores underneath. There you can see them. I'm going to rinse it off. Whole ring of fortifores. dots you see those are able to create light in the deep water that this fish usually lives at in the Monterey Canyon. They go all the way up to the tail. The plain fin midshipman has several hundred light emitting organs known as photophores that are capable of bioluminescence. Lakes is a scene reminiscent of a nightmare. Slimy, snake-like creatures with suction cup mouths lined with rings of sharp teeth and a rasping tongue prey on the trout, salmon, and whitefish that live in these lakes. Sea lampreys, but the mother load of spawning lamprey come from the when the shark turned to avoid the camera and ran into the diver's arm. The teeth are sunk deep into the sleeve of the wetsuit, trapping the shark. The shark frees itself. His mouth reverts to its original. Yes, it is real, and it's not something out of a horror movie, even though it could star in a Jaws meets Jurassic Park sequel. But it's no Hollywood camera that shot this video. This species of prehistoric shark was filmed this week by Marine Park staff in Japan. 
It's called a frilled shark, and it's very rarely seen alive because its natural habitat is some 600 meters or more under the sea. But one lucky Japanese fisherman alerted marine officials over the weekend that he'd spotted what he said was an odd-looking eel-like creature with a mouthful of needle-sharp teeth.